potatoes, red ripe tomatoes. I ain't never satisfied. I want the frim fram sauce that I'll fed. Chef Bye Bye on the side. Hi, welcome to Robert's Most Dumb Cooking Show from Joe's Italian Kitchen in Boone, North Carolina. It's Joe Cafaro. Happy to have him on the show. He's been a sponsor of this show in the past. Just a great friend. Thank you for letting us into your kitchen. Right here, we're going to be making different dishes, Southern Italian. Yes, we are. Well, welcome. Thank you, and I'm so glad to be here. It's been a long time to get here, but we got here. Yes. And I'm real excited about the dishes we're going to do today because most of the dishes, or all the dishes we're gonna to do today come from the garden. So all you people who have all these vegetables, don't know what to do with them. I'm gonna give you a few more ideas of what to do with them. So we're gonna start with a cucumber dill salad that my mama used to make. How exciting. Yes, and then we're gonna do, most of these are my mama's dishes, and my mama's from Sicily, and my dad's from Calabria, and we'll talk more about that later. So Southern Italian cooking. Yes, absolutely. From the garden. From the garden. And so we'll start with the cucumber salad, and then we're going to go to a tomato uh, oregano salad. Yes. And we're going to do a pasta salad with fresh vegetables from the garden and that. Yummy. And we'll do for the entree, we're going to do a chicken piccata, which is not from the garden, but chickens are, you know, around there somewhere. Yes, <laughs> and it's one of your fab, fab, fabulous dishes. Thank you. Most popular. Thank Fabulous you. Fabulous dishes right here at Joe's Italian Kitchen in Boone, North Carolina in the Boone Heights Shopping Center. We'll be right back. Get about full service catering. You do it all, don't you? We can do anything. If we want to go simple, we can start with our fabulous hickory smoked barbecue that we cook ourselves eight to ten hours. Or we can go to something elegant as uh, grilled lobster tails, Ooh. filet mignon. Ooh. We uh, have our own linens, china. Uh, we can provide tables that everything you need. We try to find out what you know someone's looking for, and we tailor a menu to that. So it's a it's a custom arranged experience. Yes, sir. Uh, have food, we'll travel. <laughs> Feeling like seafood tonight? Wish you had restaurant menus to help you make your choice? Wait no longer. The new guide has over 70 menus for the high country you can read and print out. Looking for Chinese? Go to the menu section of the guide, then type in what you're looking for. Use almost any search method and get instant results. The guide has the most comprehensive local database in the high country with the most powerful search engine available. Let your fingers do the running. Find what you need fast for the local market. The guide, the only information source you'll ever need. Yeah, welcome back. Joe from Joe's Italian Kitchen here in Boone, North Carolina. A dill cucumber salad. Yes. Show us your knife skills here, sir. Okay, so cucumber. we, uh, cucumbers out of the garden. Yes. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna tip these first. Uh -huh. And my mama used to take the tips and just rub the ends to get the bitterness out. Whether it does or not, I, I, that's mama says. Sure. We're gonna channel this so we can make it look nice and pretty. You don't oh, have yeah. to do that. You can peel it. Yes. Um, I wouldn't recommend leaving the skin on. Sometimes they're real bitter. Yes. Uh, but this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna channel this all the way through. That's a nice tool. Yes. You can pick these up at you know your local at, uh, stores. Country Gourmet. Country Gourmet, yes. yeah, any, any of those little places. Yes. Are, are they a sponsor? Yes, they are. Excellent, that's where you get Betsy it. Betsy Morell, so appreciative. <laughs> okay, so. So you've got the nice striped look to that. Right, so we're gonna cut this now so we get nice little round pieces. Oh yeah. In the meantime, why don't you turn, uh, oh you got this going, okay. Yeah. So what I need you to do. Okay. Is go ahead and get the sauce going that's going to go in here. Okay? okay. Start with the vinegar. All right, I'm going to put the vinegar in. That's a white distilled vinegar. That's white distilled vinegar. Yes, and put the sugar. Put sugar in. All right. All right. I'm going to keep cutting. Yes. Then you're going to add the dill. Okay. I'm going, going to put in about a third of this dill, half of this dill. About half of that dill yeah. will be okay. fine. Okay, that's what you want. Yeah. All right, now that's dry dill. Right. right. Now you can use the fresh dill out of the garden too yes. because I know you got garden stuff. Yes. So that will be fine. Sure. And, and fresh dill out of the garden is just as good. It's just oh, as flavorful. Yeah. Oh, so. very pungent, too. Yeah. Now, you got a web page? Yeah, joesitaliankitchen.com. You want to go there, you'll be able to see all the dishes that Joe fixes here at his kitchen. And it's all homemade food, isn't it? Uh, absolutely. One, well, 96% of what we do here is made here on premises. We don't bring it in pre-made, frozen, packaged, or anything. So big difference in this location's food and many others in our region. That's correct. Yes, Thank home you. cooked food. Thank you. Yes, sir. Let's put a little pinch of salt in that. Okay. And we're going to bring that to a boil. Yes, sir. It's coming quickly. Yes. And um, 
And what you want to do is you just want to get a little syrupy going with the sugar and the vinegar. You're so caramelizing, you're caramelizing the sugar. Right. So you get a little syrup action going. Yes. And then uh, when that's done, uh, which is very shortly, it only take a few minutes. Once it comes to a boil, you simmer for about three or four minutes. And then we're going to pour that over the cucumbers. And you're going to take the cucumbers, you're going to put them in the refrigerator, and you're going to let them chill so they're nice and cold when you're ready for them later on. All right. Okay. The dill cucumber salad right here at Joe's Italian Kitchen. Right. We got a bowl, sir. Okay, so let's go ahead and put that in there. Okay. Excuse me. Yeah. Great. And we'll just leave that dish to the front, and we'll get uh, ready to do our chicken piccata. Okay. So, once again, you've got white vinegar, sugar, dill, salt, the cucumbers. That's it. That's it. You're going to let that marinate in right. the refrigerator. And how long do you recommend that staying in the refrigerator? Oh, about two hours. Okay. We'll be right back with a new dish, chicken. Piccata. How exciting. Joe's Italian Kitchen. Good vision is one of life's most precious gifts. The folks at Appalachian Eye Associates in Spruce Pine have been dedicated to preserving that gift. Regular eye health and vision exams are the most important step in seeing your best and catching eye disease early. Special instruments help doctors Walker and Walker find and treat eye disease before vision is lost. Make it a point to have your eyes checked regularly and help preserve that most precious gift. Visit Eric's and Banner Elk. It is the place for wine and specialty beers, of course, but you'll also find the best selection of domestic, imported, and artisanal cheeses in the high country. There are over 100 varieties to choose from, cut to order, so you can always taste before you buy. Eric's has pate, spread, pesto, olives, nuts, special oils and vinegars, coffee, tea, fresh baked baguettes and cookies, jams, jellies, dessert sauces, plus an incredible assortment of chocolate bars. But service is really what Eric's is all about. Let their friendly staff help you find exactly what you're looking for. Eric's Cheese and Wine in Banner Elk. The Country Gourmet of Fosco is the place to find wonderful gifts and the finest cookware. Dishes, silverware, candles, clocks, and many surprises. Even those hard to find items that you can't get anywhere else. Gifts for him, gifts for her, gifts for anyone who enjoys special things. For more than 30 years, the Country Gourmet has been a must-see stop in the high country, so don't miss it. Visit the Country Gourmet weekdays 10 to 5 and Sundays noon to 5. The Country Gourmet of Fosco, where kitchens meet creativity. Welcome back, Joe from Joe's Italian Kitchen, chicken piccata. Yes, we're going to work on chicken piccata now. All right, okay. uh, I got a hot pan. You got a hot pan, put the butter in. Oh, right, we've got clarified butter, it's unsalted butter that's been clarified. Uh, that means it won't burn. Absolutely, that's correct. And I appreciate that. Thank yes, you. sir. All right, so what I'm doing is I've got some uh, chicken that's been lightly uh, uh, pounded, very uh -huh. thin, and lightly floured, okay? Oh, yes. So you're dredging that through that flour mixture? Yeah, and the flour mixture, uh, you could just put basically salt and pepper in. Uh, we use a seasoned mix that I make here, which has got salt, pepper, paprika, a little bit of garlic, uh, a little bit of dried basil, and then we put that in there. Yummy. Okay? Yeah. All right, so you've got that going. All right. Now you're going to let the chicken cook until it starts getting white on the edges, and then you know you're, you're almost part done or half done. And then you can start flipping and then adding all your other ingredients so they go into the chicken. You get that flavor into the chicken. It's very important. You don't put it in last. You got to put it in the beginning. Okay? I hear you. All right. Uh, so, what's the difference between you and a chain restaurant series? Well, you see, as we do here, that chicken is pan pounded, hand floured with our seasoning. Yes. Most of the chain restaurants will have that frozen. They'll bring it in frozen and they'll just heat it up kind of stuff. So mm -hmm. we don't do that. Yeah. Okay. So here I'm going to flip this chicken over. Okay. You give personal attention to all your food. Yes, I do. Yes. Absolutely. Jones. Now, what I need you to do here is uh, season a little bit of salt. Okay. The salt and pepper? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. And now I want you to put the capers in. Okay. That's Will good. Will do. Now capers. Capers. Uh, yes. It's a Mediterranean bud. Yes. It's vinegared. You hear that sizzle? Yes. Okay, what's happening, you smell that? It's oh, yeah. going into... Yeah. The chicken right now, so that's oh, yeah. the flavor. Flavoring agent. Yeah. Yeah. So now what we want to do is now that that's going, we want to add the wine. Okay. Add some white wine. Yes. Alrighty. Again, now that's your acid. It's also cooking into the chicken. Interesting. Yes. And that uh, lovely flavor that the wine gives the food. Absolutely. So important. Very much so. Yes. Sir. And you don't need to overpower it. The 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 dish is piccata. It's capers. It's a caper uh, lemon butter sauce with a little bit of wine. 
Now, what uh, a lot of people will stop here, and uh, you can see it's starting to thicken up. Yes, which is show, fine. Let me show everybody. Yes, uh, Southern Italian cooking. Right, family, Clear. family yeah. business, family recipes over a hundred years. Right, absolutely. I go back to Calabria and Sicily, where my uh, grandparents came from. Yes. Yes. Okay. Now, like I said, what we're going to do here, uh, we can stop here, but I like to give it a little more, more moisture. And what we do is we add some chicken stock, not a whole lot. Okay. Yes. And that gets it a little bit more soupy, and then what we do is we pour this over noodles. Oh yes. Okay. Yes. So we um, let that which noodles do you prefer? Um, usually you put uh, capellini, which is angel hair. Mm -hmm, yes. Uh, you can put spaghetti, mm -hmm. but most of it. Oh, you can put over rice. A lot of people do rice. Yes. A lot of Italian dishes yes. are done with white rice, so yes. uh, that's an option as mm -hmm. well. So we're just going to let that reduce a little bit, and what's happening is the flavors are cooking into the chicken right now. Oh yes. Okay. You got a catering service, oh, bar yeah. none. I yeah. mean, you got so many activities going on with the catering. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Uh, we're very fortunate and we're very pleased. Uh, we do a lot of catering. We do weddings. We do uh, rehearsal dinners, uh, weddings. Uh, we do uh, bank functions, grand openings, uh, parties for ASU. Red Cross. Red Cross, yeah, we do yes. a lot of stuff for the Red Cross. I remember that. Uh, mm -hmm. We're big, you know, local sponsors, uh, basketball teams, soccer teams, things yes. like that. So A man of the community. <clears throat> Joe Cafaro, Joe's Italian Kitchen. We'll be right back. Gadabouts, full service catering. You do it all, don't you? We can do anything. If we want to go simple, we can start with our fabulous hickory smoked barbecue that we cook ourselves eight to ten hours. Or we can go to something elegant as uh, grilled lobster tails, filet mm. mignon. Mm. We uh, have our own linens, china. Uh, we can provide tables that everything you need. We try to find out what you know someone's looking for, and we tailor a menu to that. So it's a it's a custom arranged experience. Yes, sir. Uh, have food, we'll try. <laughs> Good vision is one of life's most precious gifts. The folks at Appalachian Eye Associates in Spruce Pine have been dedicated to preserving that gift. Regular eye health and vision exams are the most important step in seeing your best and catching eye disease early. Special instruments help doctors Walker and Walker find and treat eye disease before vision is lost. Make it a point to have your eyes checked regularly and help preserve that most precious gift. Feeling like seafood tonight? Wish you had restaurant menus to help you make your choice? Wait no longer. The new guide has over 70 menus for the high country you can read and print out. Looking for Chinese? Go to the menu section of the guide, then type in what you're looking for. Use almost any search method and get instant results. The guide has the most comprehensive local database in the high country with the most powerful search engine available. Let your fingers do the running. Find what you need fast for the local market. The guide, the only information source you'll ever need. Joe's Italian Kitchen, we got some salad dishes you're going to make for us now. Oh, we're going to work all kinds of tomatoes right now. How exciting. Yeah. Yes. So uh, we're going to start with uh, two different types of salads. One's uh, tomato mozzarella salad, the mozzarella which you can buy here and we'll talk about in a second. And the other one is the uh, tomato oregano salad. Yes. Okay. Yes. This is your mozzarella. Yes, that's fresh homemade mozzarella uh -huh. that we You'll make here. You'll tell us more about it. Yeah, let's do it right now. Sure. Let's get this going. All right. Joe makes this right here in his kitchen. Uh, once again, most of the ingredients uh, that he prepares for you are made right here. So different from a chain restaurant. Joe wants you to have that home cooked taste. Yeah, and see now most restaurants will buy this already uh, prepared in, yes. in a can sitting in water, yes. which has got preservatives in it. Well, that's fine, but we here uh, don't do that. Our mozzarella is made fresh and it lasts about seven days, and oh. that's it. And after oh. that, we have no preservative, preservatives in it at all. Yes. Uh, we start with curd, we cook the curd, and uh, we stretch the uh, mozzarella until it makes a cheese, and then we ball it up. Interesting. So, yeah. So uh, you can buy the mozzarella here at uh, Joe's Italian Kitchen, yes. or you can buy it in a grocery store. Um, you want to buy fine. it here because it's fresh made. It's fresh made. Yeah. And you might want to call ahead of time because we do uh, sell out. Yes. So. What I'm doing is I'm cubing, cubing up this mozzarella. Cubing up the mozzarella. We're going to put it aside, and then we're going to get the tomatoes ready for this. Yes. And then we're going to also cut uh, some basil and... Um, red onion. Red onion, yes. yes. Now, your mom would do dishes like this when you were growing up. Oh, all the time. Yes. Yeah. Mom, uh -huh. yeah. Mom still cooks. She's still here. God bless her. And, uh, she, of course, she still critiques my food. <laughs> uh, if it's not right, I get a phone call. So. Yes. Uh, and Dad's still here. Yes. Dad's in the back. 
right now. He's and everybody knows from the commercials that he makes the meatballs. meatballs. He's a meatball man. <laughs> yes. Dad was telling me a story this morning. And he went to get on the bus one morning and the guy says, oh, you don't want to get on my bus. You're going the wrong way. You're the meatball king. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Advertising pays, folks. <laughs> so uh, I'm not going to cut the tomatoes for that salad. Yes. And uh, it's just a, a rough chop, a cube. You, yeah. You don't have to be real fine. It doesn't have to be real fancy. As you can see here, I'm just cutting sure. away. It's Once again, Joe's Italian cooking from the garden today, Southern Italian style. Fresh homemade, uh, uh -huh. fresh tomatoes, yes. and fresh basil from the garden. How exciting. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to put it in this uh, colander. You want to help me sure. hold that? Sure. All right. And we're going to... You got it? Put this in here in a strainer. Now, the reason why I got it in a strainer... Okay, got it in a strainer. Is because when you make a tomato mozzarella salad, you want the the vinaigrette and the tomato and the basil that's going in it, you don't want all the tomato juice as opposed to the next salad we're going to make. Okay. So what we do is we put a little salt on it. Yeah, it brings the fluid, the liquids out of the tomato. Start sweating mm -hmm. it. Yes. Okay. Yes. So uh, while that's working, I'm going to cut uh, up a little bit of fresh basil here. Genoese? Genoese, uh, yes, that's yes. what it is. It's, there are all different kinds. There's different flavors. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we, we Italians are very basic. We, we don't... Uh,